everyone, Kat here, your favorite ginger bibliophile. I hope you're all doing really well. And I hope you're in the mood for a nice action-packed book review, because that's what I've got for you today. I recently finished this after reading spreads. It's Pulse by Jeremy Robinson. It's the first in the chess team series, which is kind of my only real gripe with it, as it's the first in the series. But they mention, you know, hey, remember when this happened? And we're all, you know, working together and friends because of, you know, this. So it feels like it should be like two or three into the series. So they've already got like some missions in their pocket and got some camaraderie going on. But it's the first one. So I don't know if maybe they had like a spinoff where they kind of met and then it became a thing. I don't know. I've never heard of this author until I found this book. But other than that, it's just freaking fun like as you can tell we've got the hydra which not even gonna lie that and that it said hey for james rollins endorsed it there like that's kind of what made me snatch this off the shelves but basically we've got this archaeologic arco ah, archaeologist one day i'm gonna learn how to speak it's only been like two years <laughs> but yeah, and like y'all know, I like me some good like archaeological action thrillers. So this, mm -hmm, I had to try it. But we got this dude that's like, oh, I found the Argo, and it's got the like passenger list that says Hercules is real. Somebody broke into my lab and stole my list that proves that Hercules is real. And we have this little scene of back in time of some giant going through the desert and going here, design this, you idiots. And then throws his bloody sack into a hole and shoves him in there. And then we jump to the present day. And like, oh. We got some dude interviewing like in the middle of the rainforest for a genetics position that pays like, you know, Amazon type money in the Amazon. Like head of Amazon, not like the people that actually do the work. And then it just kind of goes from there of we are just action packed. People are getting shot and blown up and buildings are burning to the ground and we're going all over the world and we've got like these I, I don't even know what to call them like zombie-ish but you know like world war z type thing of they can freaking move <laughs> and so we're just trying to stop the evil geneticist guy that's going i'm gonna become immortal because the hydra is the key and of course you know he's not gonna like be all benevolent. No, of course not. Like, our geneticist guy, you know, we start off going, hey, if we find out how to, like, regenerate all these things, like, people will be healthy and they'll live forever, which is kind of bad. The world cannot sustain that. But, you know, it's a noble goal. Like, you, you're you old, but you don't, you still think you're, like, in your 20s and your body agrees and all these, you know, horrible diseases that they don't exist. That's not what our rich dude is going for. He's just going to be, like, live forever. And his chosen few that give him enough money will get to live forever. And be gone with the peasants. Except for his, you know, servants because he can't cook his own meals. And so, of course, now our team has to go stop these people that cannot die. And the super rich dude. And figure out what the heck Hydra has to do with this. And what's up with the archaeologist that got snatched. So we're just going 90 miles an hour all the freaking time. And they're having fun talking junk with each other. Like, it's a chess team because everybody's named after like a chess piece. And I love Queen. She's the only chick on this little short team. And she gives them so much crap. Like it kind of feels like her and King are like hooked up or at least, you know. Yeah, they have in the past and somehow managed to keep it friendly. But she has so much fun. Like, they dog out her and they go, yeah, I'm not pushing it because she can whip my ass. But they give each other crap or blowing stuff up. The billionaire, of course, gets it. But, you know, it's a series. And we set up for some stuff has to carry over, but I don't know what and how they're going to play it. But. I love the poetic justice and the action and the camaraderie and just, it's a good flipping time. So 
if that sounds up your alley, go freaking check this one out. I'm going to try and find the next one in the series and see if he can keep it going. And I will see you soon. Bye. Happy reading.